Hi everyone, welcome back. And as you have noticed, the days are started getting longer and we have like enough time to kind of enjoy everything. And since the days are longer, so definitely we need a snack in the evening. And if it's a weekend, then it's, you know, great time. So today, for snack, I'm going to make onion rings and just saying onion rings, my mouth started watering. So just quickly make that quick snack. For onion rings, uh, I have here breadcrumbs, milk, all-purpose flour, cornstarch, chili powder, kashmiri one, and the spicy salt parmesan cheese powder and baking powder and of course onion so let's just quickly start the first thing is i'm gonna slice these onion rings so the first step is i'm going to cut the onion in rings and try to make like quarter inches pieces so like this This is the last one, so I'll go like this. And the next step is to take out the rings like this. And we are not going to use the center one. So maybe that middle part used for something else. Maybe gravy, salad. So that's how I think you have to take out all the rings like this. But as you can see all the onion rings I separated out. Now the next step is what I'm going to do is just take two tablespoons of all purpose flour and then I'm going to mix this cornstarch and half of the Kashmiri chili powder and a little bit of spicy one and then mix it and here yeah make sure you nicely mix it and then I'm just gonna go like this for each of them that way the batter sticks very nicely on this so I'll go with each one like this uh, so I uh, covered with the dry all-purpose flour all the onion rings and next step is to make the batter so here goes all-purpose flour and then rest of all chilies go in here salt you have to check when the batter is ready and then here the baking powder and then this is my parmesan oh, the parmesan is kind of optional unnecessarily and even though you can put one egg in that much of amount i am not putting right now but you can put you can add the egg also like around one egg and then slowly milk and the batter should be of thick consistency so that it can stay on the rings and i'll keep this aside and the next step is this breadcrumb nicely spread out because after dipping in that I'm gonna coat the onion into this breadcrumbs so my pan is already hot with the oil let's just go and fry them up 
so batter is ready and go like this like nicely it should be coated and then put it here on breadcrumb and nicely like this it should be coated and i'll do like this all of them and then we are going to fry them uh, oil is hot and let's just nicely toss them it should be medium high flame there you go <clears throat> so when you put the breadcrumbs and everything in here they become kind of delicate so slowly put them in the oil and I have to fry them until they are like golden brown color so I'll get back to you once they are done so nicely just turn them and do you see this nice color this is because of i put that chili powder in there and it's gonna really give a good taste to these onion rings as well they are golden brown the onion rings it's time to take them out and i am going to take them out on paper towel so that whatever extra oil is it's gonna soak And I'm going to fry some more my onion rings are ready and they are so tempting like I can't wait and let me try one and then I'll talk to you so I have here barbecue sauce and the spicy ketchup in here so anything if you like something else you can enjoy with that and Do you hear that crunchiness? They are so crunchy and they feel so fresh. And you remember I put the chili powder in that. That's giving him a little spicy taste. And then you know I put the parmesan powder parmesan powder has a little kind of tangy flavor so that's also is adding up more deliciousness to this onion rings and the next step I'm gonna try with the spicy ketchup awesome so these onion rings if you just want to enjoy the onion rings you can make them anytime it's simple and it's take like 15 to 20 minutes to get them ready and they are best side dish for burgers sandwiches so however you like just enjoy them now it's time to say bye Please do try this wonderful recipe and I'll see you on next video and please don't forget like subscribe and share thanks for your time